came in. I do hope you do a good job. You know, my husband is so particular. Oh, don't you worry a bit, madam. You won't recognize the place when we get through. Uh. All right, men, get to work. said by hiring new clerks, you'd prevent old mistakes. That's what they said. We can't make the old mistakes, because we've never worked in a market before. Never mind, never mind. All right, get to work and really make it hub around here. Not that kind of a hum, you shout ahead. Everything's under control, sir. You're going to see some real grocering around here, sir. If I don't, you'll wind up in the meat department on hooks. Okay, you muscle heads, you heard the man. Get busy. Curly, you take the bakery department. Right. Larry, you get out there and take care of the groceries. Right. I'll handle the checkout stand. Right. Now then, madam, bread and a quart of milk. That will be... Sixty-three cents. Ouch! Ouch! Hey, mister. Oh, boy, my first customer. Yes? I, uh, forgot. Then, get, get, get. Hey, Larry, what do you think of my first cake? Larry is a dummy. I'd say your cake was a smash. Okay, buddy boy, if that's the way you want to play. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I saw that. This sort of stuff has got to stop right now. Now you've done it, you lame brain. For two cents, I'd... Uh, mister, my mommy wants... Yes? 
Forget them. Now you chowder ahead. There's a real display. Now remember, take the box from the top, not the bottom. That's easy to remember. Sure, we're not dumb, you know. A box is special, young man. <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, don't. Here you go, ma'am. Thank you, young man. Boy, what luck. Look, lame brains, from the top, the top, like this. Uh-oh, look out. All right, kid. What the devil does your mother want? She wants to tell you that your store is on fire. Uh-oh. I'll get you for this. You hell right, idiot. <laughs> See you guys in San Diego. It's a decorated dream. I told Mrs. Wimble she'd never recognize the place. Gentlemen, it's a masterpiece. Oh. Don't get excited. You haven't even got the bill yet. Oh, what did she get inside? Oh, here, here, here. Yeah. You've just struck one of the toughest. Yeah. 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 We're the Live Wire Electric Company at your service. Well, I didn't expect three of you. It's just a tiny little buzzer that doesn't work. It's very simple. Well, that makes us even. So are we. <laughs> oh. You've heard the old saying, many hands make light work. So you just buzz off and we'll have your buzzer buzzing in a jiffy. And a quick jiffy, too. Uh, well, all right. I'll be in my office. You call me if you need me. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. <coughs> Uh, pardon me, miss. Please, please. We have work to do, work to do. There you are. Hey. Let's see here. This, uh... Wire goes right through the wall here. I'll take it on the other side. Pardon me. Where are you going? I'm, I've got work to do. What's going on out there? That you on the other side, Bailey Joe? Yeah, I'm over here, Mo. Okay, I think I found a wire. Operator! Operator! Hey, Mo, I think I got it. Oh, oh why is that here? That's using your head. Don't we always? Well, youngsters, I think you ought to watch, because I got a headache. My surfboard lies over the ocean. Ocean. My surfboard lies over the sea. The sea. My surfboard lies over the ocean. Ocean. Oh, bring back my surfboard to me. Bring back to me. Now, you boys are sure you can fix that drippy faucet in the sink. Just leave it to us, ma'am. We're experts at drippy faucets and stuck-up drains. Very well. I'll go to my hair appointment. You should be finished by the time I return. Don't worry about a thing, ma'am. We'll fix everything. OK, Frizzletop, you cut off the water. Consider it done, old master plumber. That was very funny, Larry. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. I like this better. <coughs> now go cut off that water. And you, lame brain, fix the drain in the sink. Consider it done, old master plumber. <laughs> you forgot your plumber's friend. Doesn't seem very friendly to me. He set 
to cut off the water, but he didn't say how far down. This should be about right. It sure is wet water. I can feel it beginning to give. When you're through playing games, numbskull, you might check the water meter. Right, Chief. Maybe loosening a bolt or two will help. Right, Chief. That's funny. <laughs> Never mind. Have you checked that meter yet? One check meter coming up. Stand by for checking, little meter. Ah, there you are. Have you ever seen anything so ridiculous? Unbelievable. <laughs> Trouble, these pipes are loose. Uh oh, uh oh. I knew I should have worn a bathing suit. Hmm. The meter shaking. If there's anything I hate, it's a stubborn pipe. Okay, meter, I'll teach you to hit an innocent meter checker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Buy a brush, you ought to open up the pipes. No, 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 not that! Ah! What have you idiots done to my house? Well, ma'am, at least you don't have to worry about drippy faucets anymore. Or stuck-up drains. Sometimes, though, you should consider having this bathtub fixed. Forget the top, Chubby. I'm going to fix something else. I get it. Goodbye. <laughs> me too. Goodbye. No sense in me hanging around. Bye. You idiot. You crap. Come back so I can shoot you. Knucklehead. Hmm? Go get the gear. What? The gear, the gear. Gear, gear. Oh, gear. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Hey, Mo, what do you think I can do? I don't think you can do anything. But as far as I'm concerned, you can. Here it is, Mo. Is that the one you want? Huh? No, you landlocked landlubber, you. If I was geared right, I'd give you right on the... It's the gear on the pier. The gear on the pier. I hear, I hear. It rhymes. I'm a poet. <laughs> Henry Wadsworth, fat fellow. Yeah, let's get going! All right, all right. You never know what Put this where it belongs, if you know where it belongs. Yeah, I know where it belongs. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Ah. Every time I leave you for two minutes, this is what happens. Just a little now, bit. Now, wait a minute. Just a minute. Take this over your head like that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Now, bring this pole around me like that, okay? Yeah. Where, where's the string I gave you? Yeah. How do you get into these things here? Yeah, wait a minute. I was doing all right without you. Wait a minute, now. We'll never get out of this tangle in time to go fishing. Hey, you're right. We better buy some. Yeah, buy some. Hey, ship ahoy. Hey. I'll add a couple of fish. Yeah. Can you spare some way out? That's a pretty good. Thanks, fella. I'll see you sometime. Yeah. Now, folks, it's going to take us some time to get out of this. Why don't you just sit back and enjoy the cartoon? Yeah, while we fish a little bit. Get a hook now. We'll use it for bait. A mother's to navigation, eh? You want the ship all up in the dry dock and taken apart for salvage. Aye, aye, sir. All right, now hear this, you clam heads. What's our position? I'm standing up, sir. I'm steering, sir. I know that. I'm going to ask another stupid question. How did you blubberheads ever get into the Coast Guard? The Coast Guard is just lucky, I guess. Don't be funny. Now heave to. Full speed ahead. All engines behind and swap that deck. Aye, aye, aye sir. Now hear this, sure leave for every man in the crew, go, go, go! Aha, uh -huh. alone at last, 46 years in the Navy, and I finally 
only have my very own ship. The biggest ship in the world. And the noisiest crew in the world, too. P-13, there's our target, men. It looks brand new. You sure this is the right one? Read the name, Chowderhead. SS Menace. Yeah. The chief said it was the menace to navigation. Oh, boy, we get to wreck that whole big ship. From stern to bow, we'll start right now. Stow the poetry, you swabbies, and get the crane. OK, hook on. Hook on. A toast to the USS Menace and her gallant captain, me. OK, Larry, take her away. Right. Boss, that may be coffee is strong. Unhook claw. Claw unhooked. All right, Buzz Brain, start the saw. Saw started. Cut away. There she goes. Not bad. Good bow cut. Now get the stern. Aye, aye, sir. Every new ship takes a little getting used to. So, well, I'll just ignore the noise. All right, Larry, let's see you skin this turkey. Aye, aye, sir. Ooh, it's getting drafty. OK, man, stand by to blast the quarter deck. Aye, aye, sir. One blasted quarter deck coming up. Air raid, torpedo, man your battle station. All hands on deck. We've been hit. Just pull off the hardware, Larry, and we'll head for home port. Right, and another job well done. Stand by to fire. Oops, I forgot. The crew's gone. Oh, I'll fight the blooming beggars myself. What sneaky little devils they are. Hey, look, this is the last thing left on the ship. A loudspeaker. Now, hear this. This is the captain speaking. The captain? When I get through with you barnacle heads, you'll be hanging from the highest yard arm in the San Fernando Valley shipyard. Sounds like we made a little mistake. I'll meet you guys at Newport Beach. Come on, get out of my way. I'm asking you to hang with them one all over. Sorry, sorry. Everything you do is out of whack. Don't you know that? I, I was trying to help. What happened here? What happened here? Well, we'll go out again tomorrow. Maybe we'll have better luck next time. I sure hope so. I love boats and the stall air. And I love the sea, and the sea loves me. See? Yeah, you love the sea, oh, and the sea loves you. Yeah. OK, so yes. go ahead. Well, the sea loves them. Yeah, I better like the sea myself. See? I'll <laughs> see you later. My, you.